I'm gonna be recording a video for every day that we have two moons on Earth. Now, if you didn't know, there's gonna be an asteroid that comes and orbits around Earth. Um, I figure that behind that, there will be a lot of things that happen in the spirit and things that happen spiritually. So I want to highlight those things. I wanna uh, give you a, a summary of my day and the, and the uh, things that sort of stuck out to me. Now, sometimes there might not be a lot of things that happen spiritually. So I might just end up um, hitting on some things that I learned, some, some lessons, maybe some wisdom, some knowledge that I gained that day. I want to tell you also that I do firmly believe in Jesus. He is my rock, my foundation. The Bible is my final authority, and it is the one true word of God. So everything that I speak spiritually or, or in the spirit will be of that origin and will be to exalt him and to put God on a pedestal and not myself. Okay, so with that being said, we know that this asteroid will be here two moons uh september 29th to when when will this september 29th to november 25th we will have this asteroid orbiting earth so that's as long as i plan on recording okay so the first day of the two moons would have been the 29th september 29th 2024 so um here i have written um a, cu a couple things that I, I learned no i'm just playing I, I didn't write anything in the journal first thing i want to start out with though is i noticed that there is some type of um i live in georgia there is some type of uh sickness going on right now um yeah, I could just show you real quick. Here is an example. Don't worry about that over there. Um, if we type in what is going around right now in Jordan, that's enough to uh, approve that. Because, like, why is that some of the first things that, that pop up? I didn't type in anything about Georgia. What sickness is going around right now in Georgia? Um, click on that. Um, Bronchiolitis. I don't even know what that is. But... That's the first thing that I noticed. There is some type of uh, sickness going around. And I, I will admit, I might have gotten got. I might have gotten got. Uh, um, but yeah, that's the first thing that I noticed. Um, another thought that I had today was that I am in the foundation of Jesus. And I have built a lot of peace through God. There's like a, a certain zone that I, I have been in for the past couple past couple months honestly now i'm human so i can still not necessarily be taken out of it but things will come my way that i just don't expect i mean i can't fathom everything that could happen in a day so things could come my way that are just be like whoa you know what i'm saying and really like sort of just like stop me stop me where i'm at um and stop me from uh sort of having that sense of peace but not moving out of that peace you know i'll always come back to that peace um at the end of the day that's uh that's a a thought that i had earlier on today another huge thing that i was thinking another huge thing i was thinking is throughout this year the music that has been dropping is filled with perversion um there's a lot of mentions of sex fornication um and and one of the biggest moves of music um, that this year has had, or one of the biggest events that that happened, or dramas, was fueled by slander, fueled by like uh, talking down on on somebody else, uh, ripping somebody else down. That was like one of the biggest things that that happened. I'm not going to get into all that or or say exactly what I'm talking about, but you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, that that's that's there. Music is a, 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 a music can be used for everything. You can have good music, you have bad music, you have mid music, but music um, can sometimes open up a gateway in into your mind and keep you. Um, I've said this before and keep you in uh, certain cycles, keep you feeling a certain type of way, put you in a certain uh, certain moods. I know this. Um, and I would hope that maybe one day you will be aware of this as well. 
um, just in the things that you listen to, because they'll keep you, they'll keep you in certain spots if you if you continue to listen to the same songs, the same artists, um, the same same messages. That a lot of songs just have a simple message behind them, or uh, or were made from a, a certain place that that person was in uh, emotionally um, and even spiritually. Um, next thought that I had was. It was sort of hitting on forgiveness. Okay, I, I'm talking a lot. I'm talking a lot, but this is what I, this is how we gonna break it down. Um, forgiveness. Um, but more so on the side of apologizing. Um, I think for so long we've gotten used to, and please correct me. Like at the time of of uh, saying this and and thinking of it, um, I. It seemed uh, right. It sounded right. Um, we've gotten so used to being like, oh, is that apology sincere that we've forgotten to check why that apology apology is being administered? You know, where where is your heart at when you're administering that apology? Because apology could be sincere, but it could be sincere to a point. So like you could be apologizing just to get back with that person. Um, and that's, that's sincere, but there's like a, there's an angle that you're working from apologizing. And then another thing I was thinking was if you apologize because you need to me personally, and correct me if I'm wrong, um, after this video, but me personally, I'd rather a person want to apologize to me instead of needing to apologize to me. Cause when you need to do something, a lot of times you're going to do it by any way possible. You know, whereas if you want to, it's going to be genuinely from your heart and you're going to, hey, I just wanted to apologize. I know I was so and so and so and so. And it's just like it just sounds a little bit different, you know. Um, so we've gotten a lot used to just, oh, is the apology sincere and not checking where that person's heart is from? Because you could be apologizing, like I said, to get back with somebody, to to get back on somebody's good side, to not be on their bad side, to um take advantage of that person or, or use them over again. If, if, um, if that's how things work, worked out, I, I don't know the whole situation, but it could be a sincere apology in the aspect of, Hey, I'm apologizing to get back to where things used to be or, or to put a person into a position to do something else, if that makes sense. So, um, it's always about where where's your heart at when you're apologizing about something. And I'd um, I'd much rather somebody want to instead of feeling like they need to. Like I said, though, um, I felt as though that was right at the time of saying that. If that's wrong, correct me. <laughs> um, please, I always love um, just being, you know, uh, uh, not criticized, but just like learned, you know. Um, there was one other thing, okay? Um, so I went through apologizing, um, firm foundation, um, the sickness. Um, there was one other thing that I was thinking, and it was that you're a great human being. If you're a great human being, uh, I, I I'm, I'm trying to think what this other thought was. I think I think that's about it. I think that's about it for real. For real. Um, if it was something else, um, it's not in my mind right now. So it can't be that important, you know. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's 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 what we're gonna do every single day. Just highlight a couple things, list them out. I didn't have any Bible verses um, today. But a, a lot of times I will, um, as I continue to do this, it'll be sort of semi vloggish I don't know. Um, but yeah, a lot, a lot of things will be happening over the next two months, I think, September, October, November. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I hope, I hope you guys are being careful. Um, don't be um, deceived in, in this hour. Don't be distracted. Um, that was the other thing. Um, I realized that miscommunication can actually be used by the devil for bad. Like, so if you 
are not understanding or there's a misunderstanding and then you know one of you acts out on it or um or the whole situation blows off of it um that can be used um used by the devil to uh just continue to stir up strife and continue to cause conflict or cause division you know and i think that is I know that is very solid, actually. I, I know that miscommunication can actually cause a lot of problems. Miscommunication um, can cause a lot of problems. That was my last thing. Um, watch out for miscommunication. Watch out for um, deception. Watch, watch out for um, just people's heart. Uh, a lot of times you can hear a person's heart if, if you're discerning enough. Um, there is a lot of uh, two-facedness. Um, to say that nicely um, right now. And uh, maybe that's just always how it's been. But uh, a lot of times you can hear somebody's heart. Um, so continue to walk righteously. Continue to walk in integrity. And uh, know that God is good. Um, I don't think anything's about to blow up with these two moons coming around. But I'm going to keep you in touch. Um, maybe I'll keep tracking it. I keep tracking it, see where it's going. Is it going like ooh? Or is it going like ooh? Or is it going like that? Or that? Once again, guys, um, you already know though, it's um, peasy. Um, as always, be you.